Although not actually a new feature, one of the features that does appear in Microsoft Word 2007 in a more obvious and clear way is the clipboard. Now you'll notice along the ribbon at the top in the Home tab, which is the main one that you use, the clipboard appears in a sectional on its own here on the left hand side with the cut, the copy and the paste buttons. Don't forget that this is not paste. This is the Format Painter, an easy mistake to make, but it's not cut, copy, paste. It's cut at the top, copy in the middle, paste on the left. We'll cover the Format Painter in another tutorial. But something else to notice is at the bottom of this little part of the ribbon, you have an arrow. As with most of the sections of the ribbon that allow you to expand the options available for that category, if you go to Clipboard and click on that arrow, it opens up a pane on the left hand side which shows you what you've currently got stored in the clipboard. At the moment we don't have anything, but we can have a look at how usable the clipboard can become and how useful it can be for you in a variety of ways. Uh, let's first of all produce something that we can cut. So I'll just go to insert. I'm going to insert a shape. We'll just choose uh, an arrow. We'll draw an arrow out. And notice that as soon as I've created a graphic here, the toolbar at the top or the ribbon changes so that I've now got the format section of the ribbon available with all the options that are available for that. So I can now choose a style. Let's choose that. And then when I click off the arrow, deselect it, the ribbon goes back to the uh, standard normal uh, home part of the ribbon. Right, what I'm going to do is click on that. Again, notice that the ribbon changes at the top. And I'm going to cut that. Now, there are different ways of doing this. I could go to Home and click on Cut, or you could use your keyboard shortcut, of course, as well. Now, it's gone from the document, but now you can see it appears on the left-hand side. Uh, let's do something else as well. Let's perhaps type out a word that we don't like spelling very much. So there's a word that is frequently misspelt. Fortunately, what I'm going to do is just type that word out. Immediately, I'm going to highlight it. And I did that by double clicking the word in the middle. So highlighted the word fortunately. And I'm going to cut that. And you see now on the left hand side, our clipboard shows us the two things that we've cut so far. Uh, let's try another word. OK, there's another word that's commonly misspelt. So we'll highlight that one and we'll cut that word. And you can see that the more things we cut, the more they appear on the left hand side. So you don't just have to cut and copy one thing at a time. At the top you can see we've actually got the ability to have up to 24 different items in the clipboard at any one time. And those can include words and also graphics or tables. Now while you're typing away, while you're using the uh, program, what you can do is use the clipboard to help you with those sections you either might have to do frequently or words that you might have to type often but you don't like typing. So if you have to incorporate, and rather than typing the word, I can simply click it and there it is, it appears in my uh, document. If you have to incorporate difficult words, then fortunately, and I'll click on that, there it is, it appears in the document, there is a way the clipboard can help. And you'll see I've misspelled clipboard, so again, just let me right click that, we can see the options available. Clipboard is at the top there. So we can see how using the clipboard can help us with difficult words, phrases, sentences, names, anything that you have to do a lot uh, and is worthwhile uh, using the clipboard for. But also, of course, graphics. So if I click that arrow, you can see I get an arrow. And I can do that as much as I want. So if you want a, a graphic repeated several times for a diagram, the clipboard can help you do that. So you've got the ability to use words, tables, or graphics in the clipboard, up to 24 items, that you can then use within your document to save you time. Once you've finished with something, you can click this little down arrow and delete that from the clipboard. To get rid of everything from the clipboard, simply click Clear All and your clipboard will be empty again.